being drafted. Draft day was such an exciting day. It's when you finally realize your dream. Hearing your name called by David Stern and putting on that cap regardless of what team it is, you're just excited to be there. Also being showcased as one of the rookies to watch for the, your rookie season, it's a definite treat. Being showcased in a where amazing happens commercial in just your first season in the NBA. Also being trusted to make a game winning shot where your teammates and coaching staff believes in you enough to let you take that shot. The NBA, first season out the way, what's next? Let's go. Now as you all remember, I got drafted. Drafted by the Indiana Pacers and they said the future has arrived. But all they ended up doing was making me a third string point guard. And I just wasn't happy with that. Playing four minutes a game, I didn't like that. So I asked to be traded. To many people's disliking, saying that I was gonna be a problem. He hasn't even done anything yet. He should just sit back and play his role. Nah, I'm not gonna play my role because I'm not a role player. So I ended up going to Portland. And then all the hype began started getting featured on magazines once I started actually playing and people started seeing what I could do. 2K Sports Magazine, them saying I'm the future of the NBA. Even got a spread on Style Magazine. Getting my GQ on. Rocking the suits. They tell them, stop hating on me. To all the people that thought I was just a loud mouth because I demanded a trade like a week into the, my first season, there you have it. Check this billboard out. I just won the Western Conference Player of the Month. Now here I am on Sports Illustrated. They want to know how far can I take the Portland Trailblazers. To that I say, I'm not sure, but I'm enjoying the ride while it lasts. I'm definitely going to keep grinding. Definitely going to keep at it. So at this point, it's like the highlight of my career. Up until I got a phone call saying that I was going to be the new face of Jordan, the Jordan brand. <laughs> I don't know about you, but when Michael Jordan calls and says he wants you to wear his shoe and you get to design them yourself, you don't say no to that. I don't care who you are. Even got my own commercial showcase in the shoe with living legends like Carmelo Anthony, Chris Paul, and D. Wade. Now the average cat probably would have got laxed, got cocky, got lazy, but not me. I stayed in the gym. I stayed grinding, stayed practicing. Home games, away games, wherever I found a gym, I was in there before practice, after practice. It didn't matter. Because I know just as fast as you can get your name out there, your name can disappear out the limelight even faster. I don't want that to happen to me. Uh uh. I grinded too hard to get here, and I'm not going there. Not now. I got too much balling to do. So, what's next for me? Yeah, check it out. I just got named to my first All-Star team. Second season, halfway in, just got the news. I would have liked to be a starter, but I got plenty of time to start All-Star games. Me and Westbrook gonna be competing for that for a long time. So for everybody who thinks I'm just about stats, I'm a selfish player, I'm still not satisfied. Check it out. Had to be tough not to get the win tonight with the way you played. Did you feel like your effort was enough, knowing that ultimately it led to a loss? We lost, so I failed. It's as simple as that. You may think I played well, but it means nothing if we didn't get the win. I expect to win every single game I step on the court, and that means I'm going to do whatever it takes to make that happen. And I wasn't able to do that for my team tonight, so that's on me. Now I just need to find a way to elevate my game to the next level, because where I'm at currently clearly is not good enough.